Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent and we are back here on Pokemon Showdown today. I'm going to be using this Choice Specs Per Marina team right here, which was highly requested in the comments section yesterday. So I'm going to come through right here and use this Mon. Really excited to try it out. And basically Choice Specs Hydro Pump and Moonblast just makes this Mon a really nice wall breaker. Psychic can break through stuff like Amoongus as well as Toxpecs. And Aqua Jet is cool tech too. That's why we have the Mon's defense nature because it's able to revenge kill stuff like Excadrill under sand which is a huge threat to this team, as along with Blacephalon, which is also kind of a problem. I'm just looking Shadow Ball and Fire type attacks. Obviously, we have our Heatran, but yeah, that's why we have Aqua Jet, and the speed is actually for Defensive Mega Scissor. We can outspeed that and make sure that if it wants to try to U-turn out, we can at least hit that thing with a nice Specs Hydro Pump. And then we have Hoopa and Bound right here, and the reason for this is it's a Choice Band set, and I wanted to have a Pokemon that could reliably break through all the stuff that Primarina struggles with, stuff like Chansey, Toxapex, Moongus, all that kind of thing. So yeah, really nice banded hoop on bound right here. Fire coverage too, just to help out with Ferrothorn as well, because Primarina does not appreciate that mon. Then we have nice lefty Tran right here. Fast utility with Taunt. This is pretty much our Tapu Lele switch in as well as can 1v1 Magirna as long as it's not Fitinium Z. But we have AV Tangerth right here to help out with Shift Gear Magirna or Trick Room along with Ash Greninja anyway. But this is also our Stealth Rocker and Taunt is just nice utility right here. Then we have Mega Pidgeot, which is kind of a unique Pokemon, but it's actually been doing the work when I tested out this team. We have nice Hurricane. I love not me I love not missing attacks because of No Guard right here, so that's really nice. And then just nice U-turn, forms a nice U-turn core with our Tapu Koko and just standard three attacks right here. Hidden Power Ice over Hidden Power Ground, just because we have ways to break through Heatran with Hoopa and Primarina anyway. And then finally, Electrium Z. Roost Defog Coco right here, which a lot of people don't expect, or if we're going to go with the HB Ice, which I didn't really feel as though we need. And yeah, that's going to be the team. Hopefully it can do some work. Did a lot of work during testing, so hopefully we can continue that right now. And it'll be down below in the description, in case you guys do want to try it out alongside me. And I'll be right back with our first game. Okay, we got a game right here, going to be up against some sort of like Espeon semi-stall sort of thing right here with like Coco Pinsir. Not quite sure what's going on. Necrozma has a giant problem though. Our Mega Pidgeot plus Coupon Bound do really well right here. As well as just Moonblast from Primarina to it KO something every time it comes in. I think Coco is a very fine lead. If he leads Cragsire, I can just U-turn out. I think I'm just going to U-turn here anyway. I feel like he might stay in. And I'm just going to go ahead and click U-turn right here. As it's actually a dual screens team, so it's probably more set up. Maybe Curse Quagsire. That sort of thing. But what I can do right here is just bring out my Heatran. We have Taunt on it, so that way if he tries to set up with anything after, I can just go ahead and Taunt. So let's go ahead and get up rocks right now. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and taunt me, which is smart because now I can't taunt other things. But what I can do is try to trap him in here. Like, I need to hit this. Thankfully, we do. I don't have a very good track history with Magma Storm either, so let's go ahead and... He's trapped in here now. I think he survives another Magma Storm. He clearly will. And we can stall some screen turns. He's actually gonna Volt out. Smart decision. Will Taunt wear off this turn? If it does, I can taunt whatever comes in, which would be good for me. Because I don't want, like, Clef Calm Minding. I guess he could go Magic Bounce Espeon. He does go SP on. I need to hit this too. That would be great. Electric Seed and we miss. Okay. So uh, kind of a unique build right here. Our taunt does end, but I actually cannot do anything to this because of the whole thing going on with the magic bounce. So let's just go Hoopa, as I'm sure he'll set up. Yeah, there's a calm mind. Hyperspace Fury is going to blow through this thing, even behind the screen, I'm pretty sure. So let's just click it. I'm pretty sure we take a plus one Dazzling Gleam because of Hoopa's Spit F stat, which is really good. Sucks to take all this damage, but I have to click Hyperspace Fury right here. Could see him pivoting out into Clef, I guess, but then I can just go out into my... I can just go back to Tran and then taunt that. That won't be a big deal. Let's see what he does, though. Maybe he's Ferium Z. If he's Ferium Z, that's, that would suck. He's actually slower than me, so maybe he's... I'm not quite sure what to expect right here. Okay, well, he's slower than me, so I'll click Hyperspace Fury again. I, I want to try to prevent screens from going back up, but unfortunately, Coco outspeeds this entire build, so... Kind of a problem there. Moonblast is so good versus his team though. Yeah, we knocked that out. And uh, now we can go out into, I guess, another setup mon. Reflect has three turns. Light screen has one. Because he took the turn to taunt. You're right, that's right. So I'm assuming maybe Pinsir comes out. In which case I can just go Coco and probably click Electrium, I think. Or I go Pidgeot. Because Pidgeot's good, but like, it's threatened by Coco. So he goes Clef right here, which he, he knows I'm locked in then. So let's go, Stel let's go Heatran right here. And either get up Stealth Rocks or Taunt. Goes for Cosmic Power. I can just go ahead and uh, Taunt this right here. Not sure if this thing gets a Magic Coat or not, but... He should know the Taunt is coming, and uh, it, there it is. So he's not be able to Cosmic Power anymore. I can just go ahead and just get up Rocks here. 
Like, this thing's not going to be able to 1v1 on me anyway with Moonblast or whatever. Charge Meme. Okay, yeah, he needs special attack raises. And even then, I don't think it'll be enough after some Magma Storm damage. Because this thing's never going to get to recover. So, yeah, after I hit one Magma Storm, we're pretty much good here. So, I just taunt again. As I'm sure he'll continue clicking Charge Beam. No special attack boosts on either of his Charge Beams, which is kind of unfortunate for him. But, yeah, taunt still lives to play right here. Just to prevent him from getting any more bulky. Goes for charge, even gets a crit, and still no special attack raise. This guy's not getting fortunate. Let's just... I could switch this out, but there's literally no reason. Because we're pressuring him pretty well right here. So he finally gets a boost, which is good for him. But I just need to, go, I just need to connect a gunk shot with Hoopa, and then we'll get rid of this, which is like the main thing. Goes for charge beam. Do I just keep this around? I'm going to taunt right here. Obviously, I can't risk him soft boiling. Is it charge beam like 70%? How has he only gotten one special attack raise? I've hit every magma storm too. I usually never hit that attack. Goes right for charge beam. He's doing nothing to me. I'll just magma storm here. Look, this, this thing is not going to beat me. Maybe Necrozma can, but I'm going to taunt that after too. And I'm keeping Heatran in the back just for that. Because I'm pretty sure Heatran outspeeds it by... No, actually, I think it outspeeds me by one base point. So, there's another special attack raise for him, finally. Took him long enough, but... Now I just Magma Storm, or I just start clicking Earth Power. Earth Power is going to do what? So this is 100, goes to 150, so it'll do quite a significantly less amount. So we'll just do this right now. As what I'll do is taunt now, to prevent him from recovering. And this leftover is going to be annoying, but I think it's fine. Because at this point, Hyperspace Fury Hoopa is going to do quite the bit, quite a bit of work right here. I gotta be careful about, uh, what's it called? The Curse Quagsire, too. So he tries to recover right there. I would never make the choke. As, I guess I'll just click Earth Power now. Two would KO this. Maybe three at KO. Okay, so I should have just been clicking Earth Power. He was for stored power there. There's a decent amount. He's trapped in here with me. I think. I didn't Magma Storm him, so let's just Earth Power. He can switch out for all I care. He's just going to throw out the Fable, so we're able to 1v1 that with Tran, and that's all I really needed Tran for. So now if he goes Necrozma, I taunt. If he goes Tapu Koko, I taunt to prevent one of the screens. If he goes Quagsire, I taunt. If he goes Pinsir, I just stay in, I think. Because Heatran is not doing anything anymore, so he does go back to this. I just taunt right here to prevent whichever screen he doesn't want to get up, and then we can go with that. I'm assuming he'll get up the light screen. No, he just opts to knock me out, actually. Which is smart, because he can get up both screens later. But I'm not going to allow him to get up both, obviously. Let's see what he brings out, though. That'll be interesting. Because at this point, Mega Pidgeot's so good, too. Brings out his uh, Quagsire right here. So let's start getting in Primarina to do some work. And uh, hit this up with a nice Moonblast. Nice Choice Specs Moonblast right here. It's going to kill something. Oh my god, that's so strong. Yeah, that's not that's not working, man. <laughs> this is Choice Specs Primarina. Nice base 126 Modest. I like this mon. So we knock out Quagsire. I'm assuming Coco comes right back. So other that, our Pinsir. And Pinsir takes the rocks. Out comes Coco. I just Moonblast here. Like, he can knock me out. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Primarina lived. Primarina has good spit F. So yeah, there's the screen. As this Necrozma is not going to be able to get 1v1 my Primarina, I think. So he goes Pinsir right here. So I just stay in again. Because he can't SD up enough times to actually be able to 1v1 my Coco. Yeah, that's, that still does so much behind light screen, man. And... At this point, I actually think I just... I just Moonblast again. I just want to be careful about Necrozma sitting up. I want to try to have Hoopa in when I do this, but... I don't think that's possible unless he knocks me out. So there's the frustration. The screen has two more turns. So what I'll do right here is go out into this. Mega Evolve and U-Turn out for the knockout, and then bring in Hoopa on the Necrozma. We are Jolly Hoopa, so I think we'll be able to outspeed that and knock it out. So yeah, there's that. Bring in Hoopa right here. And then Bandit Hyperspace Fury should be able to claim the Necrozma right now. That should be it. Yeah, I don't think there's any way this lives, especially after rocks. Let's see, though. I mean, maybe it'll take something. Highly doubt it. Look at the GG already in the chat, as we are able to knock that out. And uh, yeah, so that guy's team was just like some really weird Coco offense with dual screens and a ton of unique setup, but... Primarina doing 90% to Quagsire was super funny, and we're able to pick up the win. 
and I'll be right back with another game. All right, got another game right here. Mega Pidgeot and Primarina are both really nice. I think I'll lead Pidgeot just because it can press your land out with HP Ice. Uh, so he actually opts to lead off with the Heatran right here. Not a big deal, I'll just U-turn out into mine, I think, and try to get a Parox alongside him. He just goes Lando, which is good for me. I can get momentum out of this as... I'm not really sure what I want to try to bring in. Let's go Tran, and then let's actually double to Pidgeot and lure this Earthquake right now. Maybe he's expecting Shikaberry or something. But I think we could try to catch a double right here or an Earthquake prediction. I don't think you HP Ice. He could U-turn, I guess, trying to bait my double. But I'm just trying to bait the Earthquake right here. At the same time, though, is it worth risking Pidgeot? Because it's such a big threat to his team. But he has Tran anyway to handle my Pidgeot, so never mind. I need to try to make this work. So we get in right here as uh, we do successfully bait that Earthquake. All this HP Ice on the off chance he doesn't want to go Tran. Because, yeah, he doesn't go Tran right there. Goes for the U-turn, which a slow U-turn I don't really understand, but... Out comes this thing. I can just U-turn out once again. Just for a bit, little bit of chip damage right there. I think here I can go Primarina pretty safely, but... I don't want that getting toxic, that would be pretty annoying. Let's just go Tran right here. As he gets a Parox, I just wanted to do the same alongside him. Scarf Coco is a giant- I mean, Scarf Kratana is a giant problem. Gotta keep Tango with healthy. But yeah, let's get up the rocks. As he goes right back to his Lander's T. As what we can do right here is probably just go back to Pidgeot. I don't want to risk Tran for no reason. Because that's something else that can prevent the, the sweep with Leaf Blade. So that looks good to me right now. So we get in Pidgeot right here. As he makes the play and goes for U-turn, so smart. Brings out Kratana right now. So right here I can just go defensive Tangeroth and take whatever. As he opts to go for the Sacred Sword, which would always be his play. I get a free knockoff right here, but I'm actually going to double out predicting Altaria to come in. And go ahead here into my... I wasn't expecting that, I was expecting Altaria. But... This kind of gives him an advantageous position. I'll go Pidgeot. As he tries to Earthquake that Mon. Not a big deal. I'll just... Just Hurricane. If he wants to give me damage on Tran, I'll take that. As he lets me knock that out. I'm just leaving in. This on whatever comes in. Out comes Kratana again. Do I just have to go back to Tangeroth? I can Defog for this later. So let me actually go Tangeroth right here. As he goes for the knockoff to get rid of my AV. Smart decision. I'm making the play back to Primarina again. Because I think he goes Altaria. He could also just go Tapu Bulu though. Okay, if he goes Altaria and then Dragon Nest is up, I can't allow that to happen. So we get in Primarina right here. He can knock me out with Frustration for all I care. I just want to be able to do this with Moonblast. Goes Tran. That still does a decent amount, not gonna lie. As what I'll do right here is just get in. I want to keep my own Tran healthy because that Leaf Blade sweep is looking very problematic. Alternatively, I go Hoopa right here and just fire off a Hyperspace Fury. What value do I see in Tran? I mean, it's good against Blacephalon, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to get swept by Scarf Fire Blast. I'm gonna go Hoopa right here, just to fire off an attack. I feel like I'm at Earth Power. Yeah, trying to catch my Tran on the switch in for the Blacephalon. As what I can do now is just... Just Gunk Shot predicting Tapu Bulu. We get that right. I need to hit this. Thankfully, we now hit that and knock that out. Cool. So Tapu Bulu is gone right there, and we get nice grassy terrain. This is probably not knocking me out, unless it's like mind blown, so let me stay in. Yeah, that's definitely not killing me. As, yeah, we knock that out right there. Good. As, he has three mons left. He has to like kind of go off a miss. If he goes Altaria, I have to stay in. Goes Kratana. Uh, Tangerth's always my play right here. As he goes for the grassy terrain boosted leaf blade. I gotta switch out once again into Tran, just expecting Altaria. As he goes through the Leaf Blade once again, now I can just go ahead and hit him with the Magma Storm, I think. It's either that or Earth Power. So he's gonna throw out the Altaria. Hitting this would be amazing. Wow, I'm actually having decent luck with this live in terms of hitting attacks. I never have that. Uh, I think my play is to switch this out, or just Taunt. Or I just attack him to prevent the sweep. It's just Magma Storm. As he tries to roost on me, he can roost on me too. Okay, let's taunt it now. The main thing right here is preventing that sweep. As he goes for Earthquake. So suddenly the thing became a problem, Kratana. <laughs> uh, this takes a hit though, I think. So I can switch it out. It's either that or I just stay in an Earth Power this. Let's just do this. Get a bit of damage right there. 
And pretty much, I think as long as Tangrowth's healthy, that thing's not going to be able to win. So let's go Coco right here. Coco or Pidgeot? I think I have to go Coco and knock this out. And then what I can do is just... So we T-Bolt this. Then I... he's going to go Kratana, obviously. If I suck off Amon, he still gets the Beast Boost, right? Or is that with Soul Heart? I always mix up the two. Uh, Tapu Koko is still good. That's the thing. I think I go Tang Earth. As he goes through the Leaf Blade, gets a crit. He needs like multiple of those. I just knock every time. And then when Heatran comes in, I just switch out to prevent the Leaf Blade sweep. It's like the big thing. So let's do this. And then what I can pretty much do is... Well, actually, a lot of my Mons died to Hazard. So I'm going to have to Defog too to Revenge Kill this Kratana. So let's just knock right here. As we finally get rid of that Choice Scarf, which is going to really help me out in the end right now. So now I think he could just knock me out for all I care. He's just going to go ahead and forfeit. Yeah, now that the Scarf is gone, he had no way to do that. Because what would have happened was he would have knocked me out. I go Coco, Defog. Even if he knocks me out, I still have Mega Pidgeot and Hoopa alive for the pressure at the end right there. And that in the combination with Primarina against Heatran would not have been able to win him the game. But I'll drop a GG in case that guy's still around. And I'll be right back with another game. Okay, so I found the Minior guy. And uh, this guy I've faced quite a few other times. It's just Cell Smash Minior. Pretty sure it was physical SD Sceptile, like Z Hypnosis Circuitry. That kind of thing. We have, do have the Electric Terrain to try to counter the Z Hypnosis, of course. But what I think I can do right here is he's probably going to lead off with the Sceptile. So I think what I can try to do is lead off with my... What can capitalize on that? Maybe Tran. He'll have Earthquake, though. Let's lead Pidgeot. As he actually leads Cloister, so... This is kind of a big deal because I do want to try to preserve this, but Hurricane Pressure is just so good right here. So let's go ahead and click that and uh, try to make something happen right now. Because this thing does not have a good spit F Cloister. And I feel like he might try to do the early Cell Smash, and I'm not too worried about that. Could be a problem, but I'm pretty sure Tran takes anything. Unless he actually has a Hydro Pump and he's like a special set, but I think he would be physical with like Icicle Spear, Rock Blast, and maybe... Not sure what, I'll, well, not sure what else is standard, but... Let's go ahead and just hurricane this thing right now. The most important thing is bringing it all the way down to make sure that it doesn't sweep me. If I were him, I would switch it out just because it could obviously do the thing. But uh, he doesn't go all the way down to the focus sash. No confusion. There's the shell smash. She will outspeed me now for sure. I gotta throw something out against this. And it's definitely not this. I'm gonna U-turn. I'm willing to throw that out actually. And let's just go here into... Primary is not gonna take the hit. I need to go Heatran right here. And just... Earth power this. Scout for his coverage because I'm almost positive we live a rock blast. This thing is not strong without the shell smash, and even though it has it, yeah, we'll take that attack and knock that out. So that th that threat is gone. Let's go with Tapu Koko now. On the Z Hypnosis, as I said, we can't get put to sleep, which is very good for us. And what I can do right here is just Z Thunderbolt to make sure that I capitalize damage on this. He doesn't have Lightning Rod on the Sceptile yet, so we don't have to worry about that. I gotta be careful about this Minior though, but Minior doesn't really set up on anything. Like I taunt it with, what's good data on it? How fast is it? Minior. So he does Tail Glow. Uh, base 120 speed. Okay, that's what shields down. So we go through the Tail Glow. Uh, I can just U-turn out here. Should be able to knock this out. Not even sure if he's gonna have enough speed for me. So he does have enough speed, plus a lot of energy ball. He's gonna be able to knock that out, of course. Gotta go Tanger right here and survive this attack. And knock him out with a knockoff. I guess there's no reason to click a knockoff, but I'll do it anyway. I think if we can survive the hit here, we might be fine. Yeah, we take that attack because AB Tangrowth is stupidly bulky. Sucks that we lost two huge offensive threats, so there's the shields down. He's obviously going to try to shell smash right now. I'll just hit him Power Ice. Yeah, because this, uh, this is going to be White Herb too. It is White Herb. We'll be able to do a bit of damage to that. And I think Primarina can take the hit, so let's just hit in Power Ice again. Kind of a weird game right here, where we're just sacking Pokemon to the Setup Sweeper, and then bringing out another one. Oh, Acrobatics. We might not be able to take that. Okay, the only thing that might take it is Primarina, so I gotta bring this out. And hope it's able to live. Let's go right here for the... Let's go for the Moonblast. I would love to hide her pump, but let's just Moonblast right now. He's gonna click Acrobatics. If it knocks me out, we lose, and... There's nothing I can do about that. But let's click Moonblast right here. And try to do the work. Because if we get rid of this, then I'm pretty sure he'll be forced to Scissor because nothing else can set up on me reliably. 
But I need to be I need to be able to take this. He's just calculating whether he has to click Stone Edge or not. Oh, I just killed. I need to use Minior sometime. Minior is such a cool mon. But let's go here into Heatran. Maybe he doesn't have Earthquake. I'll just uh, Magma Storm. He does have Earthquake, and unfortunately, that's going to be that game right there. So, kind of unfortunate. I'll go ahead and forfeit. Really weird team, but he just had so many setup sweepers that matched up well against me, and I couldn't really play around them well. But it is what it is. I'll be right back with another game. Okay, so first L has unfortunately been taken right now. This guy does not switch into Primarina at all. Like, I'm pretty sure we take this gunk shot even if it's Life Orb. I can just Moonblast right here because I'm assuming rocks are about to go up. And look at this Moonblast switch and he has nothing. He's not even Sash on this thing, so we just knock that out. And let's see what he wants to bring in to try to respond. I can't let this set up, so I'm just going to Moonblast. He misses a T-Wave. That's pretty good for me. I mean, if you T-Waved me, he was literally going off the para. But I'm going to go Tapu Koko as he tries to T-Wave me once again. Just T-Bolt right here. Knock that out. We have Electrium Z for whatever wants to come in next. Go Superior. I can just U-Turn out here. Scout for Choice Scarf, as it's not even Scarf, so that's better for me. Let's go Mega Pidgeot. He's going to Leaf Storm. Light Screen. Does that matter? It could matter, I guess. Let's Hurricane. As we knock it out through Screen, which could be good for me in the long run. As He's going to bring out this now. It's going to start trying to set up on me, so I'll just try to prevent this with, with Hoopa. As he does go for a cosmic power. I gotta hit this gunk shot. It's a banded gunk shot. We prevented the screen for this. Weakness policy. Okay, I just gotta not miss again. Hoopa's been coming through with the gunk shot, so we hit against that Tapu Bulu as well. It's such a weird game right now. Let's just click gunk shot again. We do so much. We get the nice poison right there. That didn't matter. He was not breaking through Primarina with this thing. That thing goes down. All he has left is this Scarf Malamar, I think. As what I can actually try to do is prevent the the contrary by going out into Bliss and just clicking, just clicking Moonblast right here. Look, as he goes for Psycho Cut, it's not able to knock me out. We pick up the nice 6-0. I'm going to try to check that guy's ranking right now because, like, we're in 1600s, I think. Yeah, that guy was pretty in, uh, low in the 1500s, but I'll drop a GG. We're able to pick up a really weird win right there. I'll be right back with another match. Alright, you got another game right here. This guy is very weak to Primarina. We just gotta predict around the whole Ferrothorn plus Lottie thing. What I'll do right here is go ahead and lead off with my... He's either gonna lead Lando or Gren, I feel, and Pidgeot can lead well against Lando, and if he leads Gren, I can just go Tangerth on that, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Coco is really good here, too. Maybe we can wear down the Heatran with this, but he's gonna lead off with Lando right here. I'll go ahead and just HP Ice turn one. I feel like... He might stay in, and if he explodes turn 1, it'll be a problem because this thing is such a big threat to his team, but I'm not going to overstress about it. He is actually Scarf Stone Edge. Thankfully, we live. Stone Edge Lando. <laughs> so we get rid of that thing right there. We lived on 2%. Aren't we minus defense, too? I, I'm pretty sure this is minus defense Pikachu. Yeah. No, we're minus attack, so yeah, we're not prioritizing our U-turn damage. Ghost Tran. Uh, do I risk this being Scarf? It's not going to be double Scarf. I can just go Primarina, as he tries to Earth Power me. I know he's going out into the the Ferrothorn, I'll just Hydro Pump anyway, because it does a lot of damage. We hit, do a very sizable amount of damage to that thing. Uh, so what I can do is just bring out my Tran right here on Lottie. Just taunt this thing to prevent it from calm mining too much. Earthquake Mega Lottie ass. Don't know what to think about that, but I guess what I can do is Switch out here to something that can take the hit. Let's go Tangrowth as he tries to Psychic that time. I nearly went Hoopa. I could try to get in Hoopa now. Like He's going to go Clef. Yeah, we can go ahead and switch this in right here. He knows the Gunk Shot's coming, but I'm clicking it anyway. Like I need to get rid of this Clef soon if I want to have a chance. I would love to Hyperspace Fury right here, just expecting something. Because like he might expect me to do a special Hoopa too. But if I can Bandit Gunk Shot this thing right now and get rid of it... That would be so amazing. He's going to switch out. Why go fair then? Because, if, I mean, I guess Hyperspace Fury would never be the play. I, I nearly wanted to make the call, but let's go Heatran again. Dang, that really sucks. Because I could have gotten rid of this thing, and this Moonblast would have been so spamble. Goes right back to his uh, Mega Lottie right here. I'm going to try to get in Pidgeot this time. As he goes right back to Tran. I just U-turn every time. Keep this alive. And bring in my... At this point, Coco is really good, too. Coco plus Hoopa, I think, is going to be my way of winning. 
for that and uh, Primarina too. Last time I U-turned to Primarina, I'm going to do the same thing this time. Just go out into that. He hits me up with a Toxic, which is totally cool. Hydro Pump is always my play. Does he have Protect on this? Uh, he's going to go back to Ferrothorn. I need the damage on this thing. We're getting really lucky with our... Lucky, not unlucky. I'm just going to stay in right here. I feel like he might get up Hazards. Just goes for the Leech Seed. Hydro Pump again always to prevent that thing from recovering. Doesn't matter if we miss on that, because now I get exactly what I wanted, which is a free switch into Hoopa right here. And this is a big turn right here. I gotta try to predict Clef. I feel like he's gonna go Ferrothorn and just sack it. I'm gonna go for Hyperspace Fury. Because even if he goes Clef, like, I still have Coco to pressure that. Mega Pidgeot and Tran, so. We can deal with Clef if it comes in, but I need to Hyperspace Fury right here. Because yeah, he does make the Ferrothorn sack, which is what I would always do. As maybe he can get in Gren here now. Uh, it's kind of a toss-up though, so he does go Clef again. Uh, I gotta go Tran to pre start preventing cosmic powers or whatever. Gets a Barak, so now I gotta Defog for Mega Pidgeot if I want that to come back in. Or I just forego that and get up my own. Let's Taunt right here. He's gonna go Lottie, right? I just force it to attack me. Hoopa can come back in. This might come down to Hoopa 50-50s, like what, what move I click basically. Because, like, right here, I really want to double out into Hoopa. I'm going to taunt, though. Like, even though Lottie is very obvious, I don't want the Lottie roosting anyway. Like, I want whatever damage I get on it to be damage that I get to keep. And for all I know, this thing has, like, Thunder Wave, too. So, just want to prevent this right now from doing too much work. Got to keep Tangrowth healthy, too, for Gran. Go with Gran now. Tangrowth is always the play. If I sack off Pidgeot to Rocks, does he get Battle Bond? I don't think so. That's another ability that I always mess up, like Beast Boost, Soul Heart, Battle Bond. Goes right for that. I'm going to double to my Hoopa right here, expecting... He could just stand and flinch, fish for the flinch too, that, that would be annoying. Let's get Drain. Goes Lottie, perfectly cool. How healthy is that thing? Clefable's at that much, okay. Let's sec off... Let's just go Tran, no, let's sec off Pidgeot right here. To the Ice Beam and then go Hoopa. And I need to get this play right. Uh, I'm gonna click Gunk Shot on probably Clef coming in. And really hope that works. Because the only bad play would be Trance. So we do get this right. And uh, we do connect an Oko, the Clefable right there. So that's very good. And that's gonna put me in, in the front right here. Because we still have Hoopad good health for the Lottie. He goes out into this right here. I gotta sec off my own Tran, I think. And then go back to Coco. Because there's no way I can sec off Hoopa. See, so let's sec off our own Tran. Then go uh, Coco right here. Click the Z move, I'm pretty sure is the play. It's either Z move or I defog. Let's go for the Gigavolt Havoc. I wish I was Taunt on Coco, because he's going to go Lottie. Yeah, that's this is kind of the problem. So I got a defog right here and then U turn into Hoopa. Because whatever damage I can avoid on Hoopa, I need to go for that, because that's my best decision. So he does a Roost right there. He's going to Earthquake right here, so I'm going to U-turn out anyway. And bring in Tangrowth and then switch out to Hoopa. So let's go Tangrowth right here on an Ice Beam. Now what I can do is just go ahead and double to Hoopa on the Ice Beam. Okay, so now Hyperspace Fury is always my play. Because it picks up a kill, basically. I'm pretty sure Grand goes down in one, maybe two. But I needed to switch that out for this. But I need to keep Hoopa healthy. The moment Hoopa dies, I lose to Latias, so... He's gonna switch out right here for sure. The question is, is he gonna sack Heatran, or is he gonna take the hit with a Greninja? I think as long as I bring in Hoopa safely every time, there's no way I can lose. That's the way I see it. I think that's the, that, I think we can make it work like that. As long as Hoopa's alive, I can't lose to Lottie. And I think that's that's fine, because he can't Earthquake right here. Unless Earthquake crits, it can't knock me out, I think. Tran will definitely go down in two. Greninja will definitely go down. I think, or Greninja will take enough to the point where I can beat it with Tangeroth. I might have to make a double, though, that's the problem, because he can Roost and all that. This guy's really thinking about this. Does he stay in right here? Does he go Hoopa? I mean, a Gren. I guess while he's thinking, we can go ahead and calc this Gren right here. I hope he picks a move. It would be kind of anticlimactic if he doesn't. 
I mean, I'll take, I would take the win, but like, so yeah, he's gonna be able to live one of those. He's just debating because if I gunk shot right here and he goes Gren, like I went, so he does go Gren. We're able to hyperspace free for a lot. I gotta go Tangarth always. There's literally no way I can sack Hoopa because the moment I sack Hoopa, I lose to Lottie. Actually, the moment Hoopa gets in range of Lottie's Earthquake, I lose to Lottie. That did so much. I think that's so strong. Okay, so I gotta go Coco then. We'll live this Ice Beam and then U turn out. So yeah, we take the Ice Beam. I can just U turn out here. Because it'll knock this out. He's not Scarf. That's clearly Specs, I think. And then what I can do is bring out. It's either that or I T Bolt. T Bolt won't do enough to Lottie to prevent that 2 hit KO. I might have to T Bolt anyway, though, because Tran can come in right here. And then what am I bringing out? Like Tangrowth? I can't go Tangrowth. Let's T Bolt. Oh my god, this is so this is so intense. Because if I if I U turn on Lottie, I think we win. If I T Bolt into Tran, I think we win. I think he's going Tran. I'm gonna T Bolt. Do I just U turn? Okay, so how much is Banded Hyperspace Fury doing to Tran? Me Tran OU utility. It's doing a lot. It's not enough though. Ah, uh, I'm gonna U turn. Because it picks us off too. Yeah, we got that right. Okay, so we did go Lottie. As what I can do is go ahead and U-turn back to Hoopa. And pick up another kill with Hyperspace Fury right here. I feel like I might just throw this out this time. Very glad we got that play right though. That was very big. This endgame is going to be... I knew it would come down to these plays too. Like just 50-50s with Hoopa. So yeah, we live that. We're able to go ahead and take that attack. Knock that out. He goes back to Gran, and this probably wins, actually. No, since it just win. With Ice Beam spam. Did 54 to my Tangerth. Hmm, how do I prevent this? So something's going down right here. Whether it be... I think I need to sack two just to get Tangerth out of range. So we take the Ice Beam, and then maybe we go off the Magma Storm miss on Tran. I think that's what I gotta do. So let's suck this off, the Ice Beam. Goes Gran. Let me just make sure that I can't live a Specs Ash Gran's Ice Beam from this percentage. Gran. Offensive against... Tangrowth. AV. What is Ice Beam doing? 61 to 72. Okay, good. No freeze. That's what I needed. Uh, he might win. He might win anyway, for sure. That knocks me out. Yeah, he wins anyway. Unless I can roost all this. Probably not. Let's roost once. He knocked me out anyway. Did he get a crit? No, it just knocked me out from 84. So I should have gone off the para right there. So he trains able to clutch it out for him. A very good game right there, though. Not disappointed about that at all. And uh, that might have been pretty long, but I think we have time for one more. So I'll be right back with another game. All right, got our final game right here. Going to be up against a Mega Google 8 team. I actually used Mega Gallade yesterday, which is pretty cool, but let's go ahead and... He has no Dark Resist, and Coco does quite a bit of work here, too. Yeah, Coco's really good. Let's lead off with Coco, because if he leads Land, I'll just go out into my PG out right here. Don't want to take a, any sort of attack. Because I can just U-turn around and get in Hoopa for free with this thing. So he tries to Earthquake me, which makes plenty sense. What I can do right here is just Hidden Power Ice on the Gastrodon. Does Gastrodon actually take these attacks well? It's gonna toxic me, I know that, but let's just U-turn here. What do I need Tran for? It's good against Ferrothorn, let's Hurricane, I think. Do a bit of damage. As now I know he's gonna recover, so what I can do right here is just U-turn out. I don't have anything that wanted to take a toxic, so he actually switches out, which is good for me. Okay, it allows me to bring out my own Coco again. As what I can do right here is just go ahead and U-turn once again. I'm sure he'll either... Yeah, so thankfully he gets the fast Volt Switch out. He's definitely going either Ferrothorn or Gastrodon. Yeah, it goes Gastrodon, and this is what I wanted. I can get in Hoopa now and pretty much just claim a kill. You can go Kiram and live one. You can go Lando and live one. They're not going to appreciate it at all. Hyperspace Free is about to do something. This is not taking two. Yeah, no way. I'll just Hyperspace Free again. You can't Protect through it either because Hyperspace Free breaks through Protect, so... That's good. This is going to take, like, probably half. I'd imagine half. Oh my god. 
I gotta double into something that prevents Gastrodon from recovering. So I think Primarina can do that. Let's go Primarina right here. As, yeah, now he can't get into Gastrodon to recover on me. Goes Coco now. Can go Tangarth right here. Tangarth's a fine play. As he volts, which just still can't recover with the Gastrodon, which is a big. Goes Kieran Black. Gotta switch out once again. Just play, gotta pivot around this guy. That's what I can do is go Tran right here on the Sub-Zero Slammer. Now I know an Earth Power is coming, so I gotta switch out once again into Pidgeot. I don't wanna, do I just throw this out? Like, what is, it's good against Ferrothorn, but Ferrothorn's already taken a lot. Let's just try to get a Brox. As he goes Gastrodon, yeah, this is not recovering, man. I'm taunting this right now. Yeah, that's not gonna get to recover off. Tries to recover on me. No, sir. Let's go Primarina now. And fire off a nice Specs Moonblast on something. So we mixed a Coco double, which is smart. Once again, gotta make a double that prevents Tran from, I mean, the, the, the thing from recovering. Which Tangrowth always does. So yeah, there's a T-Bolt. Now I get a free knock. Defog's my stuff away. He has an eye Papa Berry. It's double knock right here. He's gonna volt out into what? Gallade? Kyurem? Probably Kyurem. Out comes Kyurem Black. Knock off right there. I can go Pidgey out right here. Let's go Tran on the Fusion Volt. Okay. I see he's making some plays right here. I'm gonna throw this out. And so we actually managed to get up a rock, get our rocks again, which is really cool. As now I know he's gonna try to knock me out right here. So let me do this. Let me go out here into. No, I throw this out, of course. Let me just go right here for the magma storm. Why? Free shock? I mean, that'll lock me out. But like, why would he give me the damage on this? I'm honestly surprised that killed. Uh, Pidgeot gets a kill now, right? Because Gastrodon's too low to take the attack, so let's bring out Pidgeot right here. Hit this with a Hurricane. I mean, the only thing that he can live it with is Coco. Yeah, so we knocked that out right there. Uh, I just gave Gastrodon the recover. I don't think it's going to matter, though. He actually opts to not even take the recover with that, so... Always go get Tangrowth right here. Goes ahead and defogs my rocks away once again. Totally cool. Because at this point, I know he's going to Volt Switch to uh, Ferrothorn, but like, what does that really do for him? I still have Lectrium Z in the back too, in case Gallade SDs up and gets out of hand or anything like that. And we have Mega Pidgeot pressure. Mega Pidgeot just tears through him now, so he goes Ferrothorn, which makes a lot of sense right here. We're able to knock off what leftovers, yeah. Pretty sure we saw those earlier. Now what I can do is go ahead and just switch this out into... Nothing really wants to take this. I think I stay in and just wear this down with Earthquake. Goes Lando. Is this Flanium? Could be Flanium Z. Let's do that. Let's throw out Primarina right here as much as I hate to do it. Explodes. I'm okay with Primarina going down. As what this allows me to do is bring out Pidgeot. I mean, Gastrodon can come in. It's kind of a weird 50 50. I feel like he's going Coco. Let's go, let's go out into this. He goes out into his own Coco. As it looks like terrain's still up this turn. What I can do right here is just U-turn. As if he tries to go out into Gastrodon, I get in Hoopa again. As he gets in Ferrothorn, I think I'll just go Hoopa on this too. It's either that or Pidgeot, but Pidgeot's so good now, so let's go Hoopa. And just click Hyperspace Fury. Because Coco's in range even though it resists. We're able to knock that out. Gallade can come out here. The only way I'm losing to Gallade is if I throw away Pidgeot. Goes Coco. So he's going to try to U-turn out again. I can just go Tangarth right here. As he T-Bolt parries me. That could be the reason I lose. <laughs> Let's go get Drain now. Okay, please don't get paralyzed on the Gastrodon. Because I'm pretty sure Gastrodon outspeeds me now. Goes Gallade. We do get our damage off. So now it's 100% in range of my Hurricane. Uh, let's just stay in. And get Drain again. As this won't be able to win because I have I have Hurricane Pressure in the back and you can't Shadow Sneak through a normal type, so 
He knocks me out. Uh, I'm very weak to Hoopa. I mean, the Coco now. Which I guess is bad, but I think Hoopa takes a U-turn, which is good for me. So let's Hurricane right here. He's going to throw out the Gastrodon, which is fine. I just Hurricane twice to beat this. Why is he switching around like this? What, what does that do for him? Uh, Scarf, maybe? Scarf into what, though? So what do I sack? Let's sack Coco. As he Volt switches out. Maybe Scarf Coco can win for him. That's definitely a possibility, I think. Brings that Glade. I always gotta go Pidgey out on this. And I always have to... Hurricane. On the Gastrodon sec. So 2v2. He might have this, though. Depends on a few things. So he has to go Coco right here. It's obviously gonna go ahead and T-Bolt. Does Gunk Shot Oko Gallade? Hoopa Unbound. Gallade Mega. Gunk Shot does not Oko. We got damage off on it, right? It might come down to Gunk Shot hits, because he's gonna T-Bolt right here and knock me out, obviously. And I think he has it, because he just T-Bolts into close combat, so Choke would be switching out, but... What I gotta do right here is just... Just Gunk Shot. And hope for the choke. Because I can't take the defense drop. Yeah, he's going to stay in and he's going to be able to win this game. I might have choked the end game right there. I'm pretty sure I did. Could have definitely played smarter. But I was so focused on having Gastrodon not recover. That loss kind of hurts. But it is what it is. We're going to end off the live right there. Premier I still got to do some work. Hitting that Moonblast on Quagsire earlier in the live. And doing 91% was super funny. But unfortunate way to end off the live. But I'm going to end it off there anyway. I believe we finished 3-3. Three and three, So nice and even. Kind of bad. But it is what it is. Uh, the team will be down below in the description, in case you guys do want to try it out alongside me, of course. If you are new, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you all next time. Later.